Hi everyone, how are you doing? How are you? Um, how are your relationships? I mean, up and history in our relationships. We have always been keeping in touch with you guys, and I know that you're doing well this far. I mean, one year plus. Tokosadia could thrive anyway. So my name is Martha and I'm your host today, and this is Decoding the Process, where we talk about relationships and the process from where you are friends to dating to courtship, and in fact also being able to settle in marriage so i'm so glad to be with you today and of course with my amazing amazing guest leo hayuko peke yake leo tumesema lazima akuje na huyu mrembo <laughs> mrembo amekuja in purple and they say purple is the you know when they talk about esther and other queens it used to be yeah a sign of royalty i mean we are listening i mean queen na memleta so karibuni sana you can introduce yourselves yes. all right mm-hmm. so today let's let's begin with the ladies mm-hmm. all right um i'm anita mm-hmm. yeah fancy to memory wow i love the way you're saying that with a big smile <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's a story for another day but i mean yeah i mean yes yes thank you so much it's wonderful again to be back on the show man i'm always looking forward to be part of this recording it it's, it's always amazing thank you because i'm prince nemori mm-hmm. yes thank you for always being a part of this show and of course for my viewers mm. karibuni sana kwa siku ya leo today we're talking about the identity of a man in the relationship and how he plays his role when he when you're dating and of course into marriage yep. as we foresee that because of course they are they are getting married very soon and i know they know what they expect on the other end of the table so yes come in for us prince to nangoja sana right yeah yes. thank you mm-hmm. hey uh, it's good by the way thank mm-hmm. you so much mm-hmm. for uh, allowing me to actually tag along her mm-hmm. yeah she's a makeup artist she's mm-hmm. just forgetting to say wow that. okay she's a drama <laughs> You know, See, I'm getting yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she owns a beauty parlor called Anita's Beauty World. Mm. Anyway, but that's for another day. But right now, yes, we are here. You know, one thing I've realized that uh, most of the time in any relationship, in any setup of a relationship, a man will always be identified mm. with anything on the table. Mm-hmm. And then hilarious how like uh, in our old um, days men used to be identified with strength mm. like you know a warrior has to have certain shape of a body mm. some not muscles ndogo ndogo kama hizi zangu they had to be you, you see somebody like god yet. Mm. And also looking into the current uh, society and just be with research i realized that in every relationship men will always identify with this i i love my bishop's preaching so i kind of put things into s d's mm. p's t's mm. and today i have like four p's mm. of how a man identifies himself in a relationship be it in a dating scene or in a marriage and number one which plays out unconsciously without men knowing it it's a uh, position mm-hmm. every time you ask a man of who are you they will mm-hmm. never go into a place of telling you who they are mm-hmm. but they will by default explain what they do mm-hmm. and that's just how men identify yeah. in every sphere of the place mm. they want position they want to be identified like uh, and then it's worse with our friends uh, lures eh? you rather give them a name a position even if it's <laughs> cleaning tell them are uh, you are the manager of the this yeah. that he will be fine mm-hmm. but that's just an overall that a man need a place he can be identified with the mm-hmm. position if you give a man a position in a relationship mm. you see the way try date a man mm-hmm. and when you are in a, a company of ladies mm-hmm. and then you call his name oh my friend so what, what am i supposed to call him ha, a pet name <laughs> like if you're introducing it give it like this is the the king of my hey i ah. mean i thought it's ladies who want pet names in public i i Is it yeah, also masculine? Names. It, it, actually <laughs> it's the same. Uh, and that's how like also men it, it you see the way like you people like women take territories. <laughs> if a position to a man that is marking a territory. Mm-hmm. So if, if you want this man to actually perform in this relationship, let him have a, 
a position there. Mm-hmm. Uh, every time you call him my king, mm-hmm. my sweetheart, my babe, so long as you make a to my, my, my. friend. Mm. Ah, wallet na kitu. Itadoka. But I feel like king sounds better. <laughs> yes. My one and only no babe in a car. Girlish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is an is it I know. I anyway, feel anyway. attacked. Yeah, you feel attacked. <laughs> it's actually it plays both ways. Uh, you, you see, the way I refer to her mm. is not the way like uh, you refer to you, your yeah. other significant mm. others. Yeah. But I think with that, what I'm just saying is like, Apano, if if you put a position on a man. He identify with that, mm-hmm. like you are. It's like you're solidifying that mm-hmm. relationship, and the man works better. He he identify himself with that, mm-hmm. and of course, which comes to it because of time, mm-hmm. which comes the second one. Mm-hmm. It's actually um, uh, when if you give a man a position, then allow him to be a provider. Mm-hmm. Allow him to be a provider. Allow him to do, and and then earlier on we were just discussing this, and I'm like, ladies, even if no matter how much you earn, mm. if you want your man to feel comfortable, let him play his role mm. as a provider. I know it's this is subject to um to debate, but let him take that role of provision, mm. even at the smallest level. Let him do that. Mm. I always tell men, if you actually took a woman out mm. for lunch. Or she even asked you like, hey, Niaje, mm. uh, boss, see, we, we can grab a, uh, something out there. Mm. Unless you are quite sure that your wallet doesn't have money. If you have to, Felisa, please do that <laughs> and just take that care of that bill. Mm. I'm telling you, if a man doesn't that, whatsoever a man gives mm. to a woman, he identify himself with that. It gives him joy to know that, hey, man. I can actually you provide. You can actually for provide. It's like your own. No, I, I, I think I get your point. And that's yeah. why it works yeah. in the other side of things. When a man gives you money, they expect something from you. You get? I mean, they feel like they own you now. And I feel like that is how provision works. Yes. When it comes to a man and a woman. Because they feel like now I actually do own this woman. If you want to kill a, wom- a man, if mm. you want to kill a man, mm. deny him a chance to give you something. Mm. You see, like, I wonder sometimes, ladies, please, if you want to keep a man away, number one, deny him a chance to provide and provision into these three things. Number one, deny him a chance to provide you with his time. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to him. Mm -hmm. Number second, deny him a chance to provide in terms of gifts. Mm -hmm. And then number three, deny him a chance to provide any advice mentally, spiritually. Mm-hmm. The, if you deny that you've blocked that man away mm-hmm. from your life but if you allow a channel of that trust you me a man gets identity in that relationship by just him being a provider mm-hmm. and in, in in provision it's it's not just it doesn't bottles down to finances only or food call and shelter provision like let if he can provide you with advice he gets identity in that mm. if he can provide you with spiritual nourishment he gets identity in that mm. in but that. i feel like men nowadays don't want to provide <laughs> they want to really you know escape that responsibility actually many men are becoming they really even want women to take care of them so what do you have to say because and mm. if you that is actually true any man who doesn't honor a sense of provision in a relationship he mm. is he is in, if you find that man, even he suffers in the other areas mm. of self-identity now, self-identity mm. of like, who am I? Mm. Those are men when you're like, they'll be comfortable being kept. Mm. Any man who is comfortable being kept, number one, Uyo, he doesn't know who he is. That's why he'll be comfortable. But a true man, Finds identity I agree. in provision. I agree. What do you have to say about position and provisioning? Uh, <laughs> I, bet. <laughs> uh, I bet um when you're in a relationship, you just have to understand your partner well. Mm. One thing is it's not only for him or for me, like if I have money than him. Mm-hmm. And I I don't like give him all the respect that comes in or the respect that he deserves, mm. 
I don't, the one, that is one thing like Aita make like he sees like he's the head. Ama he had he has like something like he can say in this relationship. Mm. As much as you have money as a lady, he also like give the the what do I say submission to him. Mm-hmm. You have to submit under him as much as possible, as yeah. much as you have everything, as mm-hmm. much as you can do everything for yourself. Yeah. But you also have to submit to him, mm-hmm. listen to him, and understand what like you both partners want in this relationship as much as you want it to be mm. and you want it to like to last mm-hmm. and i love and, the fact that she's, she's talking about submission because it all boils down to position again you know mm-hmm. you are the one to submit he is the one to lead and even just that if, if you see what he's saying mm. the fact that you are allowing me let me use me as an example mm-hmm. as a man to even you submitting mm-hmm. is that you are allowing me to provide my leadership. Mm-hmm. You get it? Yeah. So it's not just provision in terms of what I bring material. Yes, yes, I agree. But even giving me a chance as a man to provide you with spiritual leadership, mm-hmm. emotional leadership, mental leadership. That is giving me, I identify myself with that. Mm-hmm. Just like you say, if you have all the money, mm-hmm. you see, but I may not provide you with money because you already have it. Mm-hmm. But giving me a chance as a man in your life to provide you with direction. Yeah. You get mm. that I get I de- I identify myself in mm-hmm. the relationship of that. And that which leads me to point number three, mm-hmm. performance. Mm. You see, <laughs> if you as a lady, if, if she gives me a position in our relationship, mm-hmm. eh, and then she allows me to provide direction in our relationship then my performance will be good mm-hmm. in that relationship. Mm-hmm. In terms of mental performance, like I can tell, I'm able to reason, I'm able to function better. Mm-hmm. I'm able to function and perform better in my area of calling, in my area of domain, mm-hmm. if she actually let me mm-hmm. perform. Mm-hmm. And which comes from the position and then provision, and then performing. Mm-hmm. I will, you remember what we were talking earlier, earlier on, on, mm-hmm. on backstage, mm-hmm. and then we say some men run out of relationship or out of marriage just by the fact that they can't perform. Mm-hmm. And this goes all way. If a man can't perform mentally, if a man can't perform spiritually, if a man can't perform as sexually or romantic-wise, trust you me, he's dead in that relationship. If he cannot perform, there are men who run away in homes just because they cannot satisfy their women sexually. Yeah. And that is actually one area a man performs. So if you don't give that man a chance to perform, then he will not be, he can't find identity into that. Mm. And, and let me just put this open. You see, one way to show, uh, and then... In African traditional society, you'll mm-hmm. find one way they will know that a man perform mm-hmm. is like after you've married a woman, they want in the next three months, they want to see a caprotrude <laughs> happening. And then, and, and then they, you will hear, they will tell them like, you find men in Baraza, they're like, ah, we are doing kazi. What is that cause they're saying? It's performance. Mm. But if they find like, um, and then you see, so if this woman doesn't allow this man to mm. perform, mm. you see, this man lacks identity. Mm-hmm. So in the African traditional society, and even today, in some people still believe like, like, eh, hey, maze u nachelewa buwana. Mm. Nachelewa, like, nachelewa kufanya, eh, hey, atujaona mama ki. <laughs> you see, mm. yes, so. Again, performance is very important. And men find identity. You find a man find respect. He feels respected if he performs in that relationship. Mm. Wow. So much to learn. So much to learn in just a very short while. And I love what they're bringing on board very candidly and very openly. We are coming right back in very, very few seconds. Do not, you know, take off. We are here. And of course, getting to hear the women's perspective just right after the break. Thank you very much to Patani. Why do you think we have Viagra and blue pills? The introduction of these two things 
is the need for men to perform. Mm. If you want to keep a man away, number one, deny him a chance to provide. Karibuni Tena, we are still going on with the discussion on the role and of course what makes man find identity in a relationship and in turn in marriage. So we have talked about a few things which have been position, provision and performance. I believe you have actually been able to go through the first segment of the show and if you haven't, you can please go and check it out. So I want to continue with the next one even as we discuss about this. Yeah, thank you so much again. We are back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Allow me to actually just recap with something is still ringing in my mind. Mm -hmm. You see, um, why do you think we have Viagra and blue pills in, in the He's current targeting gender? men. Yes. <laughs> you see, uh, because the reason, the introduction of these two things is the need for men to perform. Mm. So I'm just pointing out this so that you understand how is it important as a man to perform. Mm. If a man, but too sad. I've heard of stories where like men actually died in the process of wanting to prove to the women <laughs> that they can perform. That is sad. Sure. But it's very important. Now you understand that some men, if they found out they can't perform, mm. they will go to extra. Others, they will go to a gangas mm. so that they can perform. Mm -hmm. It's very important. It's very rich. Yes. So, yes, of course, the last point that I have today on the segment, I can even point to like a hundred of them. Mm -hmm. But today on the segment, the one that we can maybe end up with, it's uh, uh, the sense of power. Mm -hmm. A man who doesn't feel powerful in his castle mm. is as well as a dead not even a dead lion or a mm. dead cat is is like that there's i wish i can translate this directly from my mother tongue mm. it, it's i don't know i can't get the words to translate it directly. Mm. but what my point is like one thing again a man identify with it mm. in a relationship in a set of relationship is power mm. a man and then you see if a man doesn't have a position he's deemed to be inferior mm. if a man can't provide even in the current society women will complain my husband doesn't provide for me ladies will complain hey, you see it's bottling down mm. and then of course it's it's it begin from position then comes to provision mm. then comes to performance and then power so if a man can has a position then he can provide mm. then he can perform then he gets the sense of power. He gets the oh. sense of power. He identifies. Power gives him the urge to even continue. Mm. You, you see the way, like, for example, you go to the gym. Hey, I'm soon going. But every time a man goes to the gym and then and he's like, yeah, I have muscles. Trust you me. That stimulates him to go to the gym the next day. Mm. And it's the same. If a man doesn't feel that he's powerful in the relationship, mm -hmm. it just kills him. It just kills him. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find most of men, mm -hmm. when they don't feel the sense of that, mm -hmm. when that identity of power in their life is not there, mm -hmm. they end up being depressed. Mm -hmm. That's why you find, uh, you know, ladies can talk. Mm -hmm. Ladies, you can have issues and go find out your friends and bubble it up. And then you walk away, you're like, man, it's gone. But men... And then I call them. And then I resort to like killing myself, committing suicide. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you find a larger percentage of people who are committing suicide is men. Mm -hmm. And because most of them, it's relationship oriented. They don't feel they have a position in a relationship. They don't feel they can provide enough. They don't feel they perform. And of course, their power is just drained mm. out of them. Mm. Wow, power. Power is very important. And I feel like all of them are somehow connected. Yes. I mean, if you even lack one, yes. somehow you lack almost all of them. Yes. And I feel like you have to, to just, of course, for the ladies, because um, this is really more like really opening eyes to the men and telling the ladies also this is this is yeah. how you want to treat your men. So mm. for the woman's side, I mean... um. What, what do you think about all this? And of course, apart from that, how do you think as a woman you can play your role in making sure this man finds his identity in that relationship? 
um again i will say relationship is based on two people mm -hmm. you can't stand on your own there is no way you'll make decisions on your own as much as you want you still need your helper yeah yeah they would say we are going they are told like uh, mm. in every in every relationship ama in every marriage yeah you have to have a helper it's not like you need a helper but you have yeah. to listen to the advices that comes from him mm. as much as you can also like put your own decisions uh, make your own decision do whatever you are doing like when you are single based on you are doing everything yes mm. but now you are coming into this relationship you have to understand him well you have to take like advices like zenya nasema mm. as much as you are a person in your own you have to understand him alafu tena you bring your differences mm. these are two pe two people you you have your own stand mm. na yako na stand yake so you bring your own differences and you settle them down you like i will lower whatever i have mm. he'll also lower whatever he has mm. then you come to one mind that's how you will only operate ndio sasa akwe na power mm. he cannot operate at akwe na power over you yet you cannot submit to him yeah. or you cannot even listen to him mm -hmm. so it's just a two way thing like understanding each other better in fact I, from how, what you're saying and from what he actually said you know this man can't perform unless you allow him this man can't yes. actually feel powerful unless you do so yes. so i feel like actually submitting is not is not any less it's mm. more powerful than we even think yeah because actually you're leading so much from behind the scenes mm. he's just leading but who's leading it's actually who you who's doing the groundwork who's giving him the place and the position to lead who's giving him the ability to be the man mm. in that position in well, that say, mm -hmm. i won't give him like everything mm -hmm. like the way i've seen his my fiance what if i i don't like uh, introduce myself as mm. like that what will he be like saying mm. or what power does he have over me mm. like uh, to say like i like he has ownership over me mm. that will be another different thing but mm. when you give him the reason as to why this relationship is here mm. he'll have the power to communicate and also lead mm. wow and it benefits you in the end yes. i mean if this man is functioning definitely mm. he will supply the love you need of course and in the end we all see, get what we need sorry to jump in okay. but there is a reason why uh the proverb 31 mm -hmm. uh there's within if you read it, it it says um that this woman eh, this this woman that actually proverb talks about it whatever she does mm -hmm. a man is praised for what she does mm -hmm. now you you get the point mm -hmm. it's like what it's not the man who is doing i'm trying to bring the aspect she's saying it's not a man who is doing it's a woman actually who is in position who is on the front line of this but whatsoever a man a woman is doing a man get praise of it mm -hmm. now that's position mm -hmm. that i am um a mother sindo that's why uh let me just i'll come back to that but that's why like you see there's one person who joked it out and they say it's like a partner while you're dating uh kindly uh let your woman let your woman accumulate as much wealth as she can so that she begins to be called with a title but if you realize that title she's called anita but in long run mm. she will be called mrs nyamo mm. nyamori mm. so everything she's doing whatsoever big she gets but she still bears my title but So you see it's hard doing but I'm getting the power I'm getting the position I'm getting the power mm. the position but it's hard doing mm. So but unless she allows me mm. she allows it to happen like she allows it take my name mm. that she allows me to provide her with my lineage my name mm. by her taking my name like you, you get So it it's actually it's not about what a man does mm -hmm. it's more entails into what she's doing Mhm. Ni skia title inenda kwa Mr. Nelson. <laughs> yes. Actually. <laughs> Let me just yeah. say that anyway. Yeah. So um there's so much you guys are bringing on board and I mean this needs let me say maybe another segment yeah. to really be able to 
to exhaust this because yeah. um, there's so much and the problem has been the reversal of everything we're talking about here. Women are beginning to take the positions. Yeah. They begin to say, ah, I mean, as a provide, I mean, and that's what's destroying so many marriages to date. Not because people are becoming so bad, not because people are not having to be raised well, yeah. but it's just because people don't understand that there are standards of things that remain mm -hmm. despite times oh, changing yes, and everything. True. So I wanted to just give your conclusive remarks. We can start with her, I, I believe, as we finish with the position of leader. Um, what I can just say uh, to the whole segment that you have been having today is to ladies, is just submission. You know, submission is just the overall of them all. Mm. Yeah, so when you submit, the rest will fall in place. Just mm -hmm. you submit, you will just be you as much as you are mm. and submit to your other partner. Mm. The rest will just fall in place. Now, Miss Kia, she's just... Actually, they're not married, but submission is not marriage. I mean, she is saying, she is talking about submission mm -hmm. in courtship, meaning it's, it's, you don't start playing the role when you're married. It begins, it's just a process of changing seasons, but it all begins. That's why they find a wife. Mm -hmm. That means you have to begin behaving like a wife from now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so thank you so much. Mm. My actually conclusion to this, I'll say this because again, when we are talking about position, power, mm. provision, performance, you see all these things is what a man does. But the bottom line is a woman allowing. Ben, this is what I said. I said earlier this backstage that a queen automatically takes position and acquires power by default by her submitting to the king. Mm. So there is no queen without a king. Mm -hmm. Okay? Actually, a king can still be a king without a queen. Mm -hmm. But there is no... If, 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 if For a queen to get the power, there has to be... It has to come from somewhere. It has to come from somewhere. So much of it, as much as like I'm pointing out what a man actually identifies with, with, but these identities are triggered by what? By a woman. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Miss Kia <laughs> here. It is a very perfect way to end this show. Mm. And of course, for our viewers, we are very happy to always bring you goods. And of course revolving content because every day we get better and i'm sure you are also getting better but for us as we have said and as we conclude we have to 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 of course emphasize that there's so many things that make someone find identity but we have been able to handle those few things and for the men please um of course being a woman my fellow women you know I mean, teach yourself to provide just more than money. Because um, we were talking about it and we were saying mm -hmm. that um, women nowadays know how to make money. They know how to fight like men. So you have to provide what she cannot get and give herself. Yes. Learning how to provide the emotion. Like she, he actually mentioned it. Not just the financial and material things, but there's the emotional provision. There's the spiritual provision if you can't lead spiritually you're failing you can't just provide money and you can't teach the word of god you can't show love to your to your woman you can't give her security you can't be able to take up the responsibility that and that's why she took up your name because akapewa yako and all what the father provided means has now been you know subjected to you so teach yourselves in this season of singlehood so that when you get to relationships you're able to provide this and trust you me with all that you can hack marriage in this generation otherwise thank you very much and have a very very good time after this show and may you make sure you share this video it has been very amazing may they enjoy and thank you for coming otherwise have a nice evening ciao